Hello, I'm Dr. Jarvis Watson, Interim Chief Diversity Officer here at Stony Brook University. I'm here in the Unity Culture Center located in the Student Activity Center, a wonderful space that promotes diversity and inclusion within the Stony Brook community. In October 2018, at the request from our students, staff, and faculty, Stony Brook held its first all-campus seminar, focusing on implicit bias and issues related to harassment and sexual misconduct. This required seminar was a first in a planned series of cultural competency seminars for all faculty, staff, and hospital employees. It provided tools and practical advice for student and colleague interactions and reinforced Stony Brook's commitment to the prevention and elimination of all forms of discrimination, harassment, and sexual misconduct. I invite you to experience the seminar in several short videos. In this video, you will hear from President Samuel L. Stanley about his vision regarding this seminar. Uh, I'm Sam Stanley, and I want to thank everyone for attending today. We've organized this inaugural all-campus seminar in response to requests from our students, staff, and faculty. It will focus on implicit bias and issues and procedures related to harassment and sexual misconduct. A planning committee comprised of faculty, staff, and administrators has worked diligently for these past few months in collaboration with various offices and experts to develop the content and format of this seminar. Our goal is to give you the tools and practical advice while making clear our policies and procedures and the value we place on respectful and meaningful interactions for all of us. Today's presenters are from our Stony Brook community, and they are experts in addressing issues of power dynamics, maintaining inclusive classrooms and learning spaces, as well as reinforcing our commitment to non-discrimination and eliminating sexual misconduct. We are excited to have Vernon Wall serve as our facilitator for today. Vernon is an accomplished social justice and diversity expert, and we look forward to learning from him and our presenters. We are also pleased to include student voices, both undergraduate and graduate, in our seminar today. These students will share some of their experiences at Stony Brook. And this is just the beginning. We will be offering a series of seminars over the course of the year that will allow you to strengthen and enhance your work with your colleagues and students. Again, I want to thank you for your active participation in addressing these important issues, and I will now turn the stage over to Dr. Lee Bitsoy, our Chief Diversity Officer, to give you an overview for the day. Thank you again. Thank you for being here. I want to echo President Stanley's welcome and remind everyone that diversity is a journey. It's not a destination. It's an interdependent, evolving ecosystem that requires everyone's participation. So I'm glad to see everyone here. A few housekeeping items. Please silence your cell phones. However, keep them out because we want to show you how to log in if you've not done so already. So if you go to ttpoll.com, enter the session ID, You'll join the session, enter your first name, enter your last name, enter your email, and then join. And we'll have polling questions later on in the presentation. And I'd now like to acknowledge the planning committee. It is comprised of faculty, staff, administrators, many departments, marketing and communications, our audiovisual department, and also our conferences and events team. So you see this list, and I want to take a moment to acknowledge three individuals who went in above and beyond the call of duty in making this event happen today. And they are Lauren LaMagna, who is our executive fellow. <laughs> Marissa DiOrio. and Christina Krabarl from the conferences and events team. Thank you so much. Please take a moment to watch the various videos on the Chief Diversity Officer website at stonybrook.edu diversity.
And feel free to share your feedback about what you learned on this site. Thank you.